You might think that striving to be encrypted in an urban setting makes no sense. After all, if Bigfoot wandered into downtown Chicago, he wouldn't be a mystery anymore. He'd just be called into animal control. But there is proof that you can become encrypted in an urban setting. Banksy is a British anonymous street artist, which is another word for a vandal. His identity is unknown, but up for speculation. And I don't know about you, but that sounds like a city Bigfoot to me. And you don't need to vandalize to be a city creature either. Every town has their own legendary weirdos, like the speedo-wearing old man who swims at the rec center every day at 7 a.m. Or the neighbor you've never seen, but you know they exist since they leave their trash out every pickup day. It seems the key to becoming a city creature lies at the ends of unpredictability and ritual. So I'm going to try out both and see which one makes me an urban cryptid. For this episode, I thought I should update the wild women to be a little less conspicuous as I'll be in populated areas. So let's try on some new outfits, see what seems the best. I think I like this one the best. It's subtle, but still very strange. It feels like the wild woman mugged a hiker and then went into the city. Now that I've selected my new wild woman skin, it's time to plan what exactly I'll be doing. First, let's figure out my scheduled strangeness. I made a list of places that weird people hang out, such as any college campus, the public library, and coffee shops. Um, and I also think it's important for me to stick to the wilderness theming of the wild woman. So I've also thought of some parks and cemeteries that I might go to. I'll try to narrow down the places and then create a schedule that will increase the amount of wonder and attention I'll get from wandering these places. And then I'll stick to the schedule as long as I need to to get the public's notice. And for the more unpredictable side of things, I'll be sporadically placing a calling card of sorts in random places around the city. I still need to decide what my cryptid's calling card is, though. Banksy does graffiti. This random guy from North Carolina puts raw meat on playgrounds. What can I do that screams wild woman? I can't think of anything now, but I'm sure it'll eventually come to me. After mulling over ideal timings and locations, here's the schedule that I decided on. Every morning, I will feed the ducks lentils at the BYU Duck Pond. At noon, I'll visit Provo Library. In the early afternoon, I'll work out at Pioneer Park. And in the late afternoon to dusk, I'll generally lurk around downtown Provo. In between some of my timed activities, I did my first attempt at Wild Woman Street Art. And after I set up my Pinecone W, I decided to stick around in civilian wear to see people's reactions. Hi! Hey, did you guys Hi. see the weird thing over there, like right behind you? I did not. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like, what do you, what do you think about it? It's very cool. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I think so too. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's. I thought that too. Very much nature. Yeah. How does it speak to you? Does it speak to you? It's a W, so it like reminds me of like a wind, like a, like a oh. dove. Oh, okay. Like that. It's not what I. I mean, uh, I didn't think that, but that's like a very interesting thought. All interpreted in different yeah. ways. Awesome. I'll. Um, goodbye. Oh, hey. Did, did you did you notice this this thing? Oh, no, that's cool. Oh, pine cones. yeah, pine cones. Yeah, cool. You think it think it valuable at all or? I, I don't know. It reminds me of getting a dub. So. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh. Yeah. Oh hey. Uh. Did you guys notice whatever that is? The pine cones. What? Yeah. No. Isn't that interesting? No? Okay. Okay. Seems like everyone just thought about winning or didn't care at all. So I'll need to try something else. phone notifying me whenever Jonesy the Cryptid Master's blog updates, since he's become the hub for all things Wild Woman. If anyone makes the connection between my urban and forest cryptid sonas, it'll end up there. No one's figured anything out yet, so I'll just have to keep being weird until they do. For my next 
first wild woman calling card, I decided to go even more street artist and draw a picture of a nature scene. And to avoid actual property damage, as well as to give more wild vibes, I used charcoal to create my masterpiece. Hey, hey, so did you notice this? Yeah. Yeah? What do you, what do you think of it? Is it... I wonder when the street cleaner's gonna come through here is what I'm wondering when I see it. <laughs> that's a... That's a great point. Yeah. yeah. Hey, guys! Did you notice this th Okay! There's like very few people here, and the longer I look at this, the more this makes me think of Christmas. And so I think I'm just gonna let this idea go. What do I do next? nuanced attempt at street art was a failure. I'm just gonna paint Wild Woman was here on some rocks and hopefully that'll make Jonesy notice that I'm in Provo. He'll have to notice I'm in Provo then, right? He'll have to. Oh cool. Is that a Karen? A Karen? No, a Karen. Like, um, like we will stack rocks on hikes and stuff. Uh, I guess? Well, uh, so I thought you were doing like a metaphor, like humanity overcoming nature and stuff but so seeing this makes you think it's an intentional metaphor yeah it's kind of cool but it doesn't... so you this would be notable to you this is notable uh yeah i think i didn't i well, i just found it like this wow but what a cool art piece what a cool thing that has been done yeah yeah okay yeah Wow, th th thanks. Uh-huh. Have a good day. Okay. Think about that. I think I found my calling card. I just set up a couple more cairns and I'm um, just gonna hang around like I usually do, see if anyone notices, see what people think. Um... Oh, Jonesy updated. This should be good. I think this is where this random woman comes from. She seems to climb out of like some kind of, some kind of burrow in the bushes and, and, and goes over to feed the ducks. I don't know if it's some kind of science experiment or if she, she lives here. Oh, there she is. Wow. It is odd how routine this is. This deserves documentation. Well. Crap. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing? No, 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 no. This, this is art. It's from that new urban artist everyone's talking about. This, this is a beautiful illustration of symbolism of how we, as humans, are impacting the world around us. It's like we are destroying the Earth, like rocks falling down upon it, and now Earth is back on our land, back to get us as the consequences and repercussions of our actions against nature. It, it deserves to be kept and preserved. You gotta frame it. Okay. He protected my art. I did it. Now what? You my UFO. <laughs>